So this is when we first came, this is this is where it still looks like it did in back in 2005. It's a massive area, I mean it's four and a half acres, which is unheard of. We're we're a stone's throw from um, the Houses of Parliament and from the South Bank and everything else, and this was sitting here, which is unbelievable. Our key thing was really about what do we do to about the long-term development of this community. So when we looked at what the big issues were, the big issues were social isolation. The big issues were about confidence, developing confidence. The big issues that were about the gangs. How do you break that down? We've got to target the, the early age groups, so the 8 to 13, because we knew if we could do that, you could stop the flow of those foreign siblings into gangs. If we can put the positive messages with our young people, so they want to be like Junior, they want to be like Rebecca, then you start to change. The life of a 12, 13 year old in this area, but it's not that simple, because in school you get diverted. There's a lot of negative people around you. This used to be a different school, and then it got closed down, and then the kids around the neighborhood, we didn't really have much to do. So we thought, let's go here. There was a football pitch. We, we all had a passion for football, and we started coming here. It's the people that used to encourage us. He never used to try to put us down. It was used to try to lift us, make us better than we are. I think sport is a really good, is a really good option. And I would say it's the people here that helped us to realise that sport is important. Ready? Let's go. Why would someone without a goal or a name or a focus do any exercise? And change! It's only to a coach or a mentor tells them how much they can do, that they, they realise how much they can do. Okay. And that, that becomes part of their normality then. You decide to pay. They, they don't realise how much they can do and no one's ever told them then how they ever supposed to know. It's got more in it, and that's it. We as coaches and mentors, uh, we do boxing all the time. I know a young kid at a certain age can be pushed more than they think they can be pushed. So we've got to retrain the young people to realise, look, sport's good. Moving around's good. Being active is good. Come on, it's the last round. Everything counts in this round. Push I'm going to get sweaty. I'm going to get breathless. And the more sweaty and the more breathless I get, on, the quicker yeah. I will get to my goal and I will get to my aim. Keep going, keep going, going. Well done. All right, out you go. It's fun to do PE. And when we're doing it, we express ourselves and we let our bodies do what they want to do and not like let them be trapped. Yeah, and, and we don't give up when we're doing it. Um, we keep on going and going and going until we have to stop, but usually we don't need to stop. Okay, who's going first over here? Ready? Off we go. Totally. Yeah, because if you just start at this age, you'll get used to it and your body will get used to it as well. Well done. Next person, when you're ready. It calms me down because I've got all the um, energy. energy out of me and now it's time for school. We love to run, we love to jog and we don't stop. Yeah, so it gets you off the street, keeps you fit and yeah, it's a lot of fun. I love running. It makes like a part of you grow. I love exercising. and I want to do sport to get big and stronger. They say, well, our confidence builds. I can think I can do this now, because I've seen this person, I can do that. You could do whatever you want, as long as you put your mind to it.